This is the Cambridge Key English Test, Paper Two, Listening. Test Number Four. There are five parts to the test: parts one, two, three, four, and five. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you mustn't speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. How much is the car? So, which car are you buying? The Monarch Two Thousand. It's lovely, but I have to get a thousand pounds more from the bank first because I don't have enough money. It's a lot of money. Three thousand pounds. I could live on that for a year. Well, cars are expensive. Now listen again. So, which car are you buying? The Monarch Two Thousand. It's lovely, but I have to get a thousand pounds more from the bank first because I don't have enough money. It's a lot of money. Three thousand pounds. I could live on that for a year. Well, cars are expensive. Two. What's Eleanor going to take to the party? Hi, Eleanor. Are you taking some cans of cola to the party? Of course, and a pizza. I'm going to take a big bottle of orange juice and some biscuits. Chocolate ones, I hope. Now listen again. Hi, Eleanor. Are you taking some cans of cola to the party? Of course, and a pizza. I'm going to take a big bottle of orange juice and some biscuits. Chocolate ones, I hope. Three. Where will Susan buy her eggs? We need some more eggs, Susan. I'll drive out to the farm and get them tomorrow. It'll be quicker to go to the market, or to the little shop across the road. I know, but I prefer to know that they haven't been on the shelves for a long time. Now listen again. We need some more eggs, Susan. I'll drive out to the farm and get them tomorrow. It'll be quicker to go to the market, or to the little shop across the road. I know, but I prefer to know that they haven't been on the shelves for a long time. Four. What time does the film begin? Would you like to see a film this afternoon? Okay. What time? It starts at quarter to two, but we need tickets, so let's meet at the cinema at quarter past one. How long is the film? One and a half hours. Now listen again. Would you like to see a film this afternoon? Okay. What time? It starts at quarter to two, but we need tickets, so let's meet at the cinema at quarter past one. How long is the film? One and a half hours. Five. 
How will the man travel to London? We drove to London last weekend. Really? I'm going to go there for the day tomorrow. Oh, yes. Are you going by coach? It's the best way. There's a fast train, but it's too expensive for me. Now listen again. We drove to London last weekend. Really? I'm going to go there for the day tomorrow. Oh, yes. Are you going by coach? It's the best way. There's a fast train, but it's too expensive for me. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Sarah talking to a friend about a sports centre. What is the problem with the different things at the sports centre? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each thing. You will hear the conversation twice. I like your new T-shirt, Sarah. Mm, the colours are nice, but the problem is it's too big. I got it from the shop at the sports centre. I went swimming there because it was a hot day, but it was too noisy for me. There were a lot of people in the pool. So was it difficult to find a space in the car park there? Yes, it's not big enough. Did you go to the cafe? Yes, for a cold drink, but I didn't stay. The tables and floor weren't clean. Ugh. But I hear they have a good football club there. That's right. My brother wanted to go, but it starts too late in the evening for him. It's a pity because it's not an expensive club. Can you learn tennis there? I called about lessons, but they cost too much. I'll teach you tennis, but not today. It's too hot. Let's go for a cold swim in the river. Now listen again. I like your new T-shirt, Sarah. Mm, the colours are nice, but the problem is it's too big. I got it from the shop at the sports centre. I went swimming there because it was a hot day, but it was too noisy for me. There were a lot of people in the pool. So was it difficult to find a space in the car park there? Yes, it's not big enough. Did you go to the cafe? Yes, for a cold drink. But I didn't stay. The tables and floor weren't clean. Ugh. But I hear they have a good football club there. That's right. My brother wanted to go, but it starts too late in the evening for him. It's a pity because it's not an expensive club. Can you learn tennis there? I called about lessons, but they cost too much. I'll teach you tennis, but not today. It's too hot. Let's go for a cold swim in the river. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Philip talking to a friend about his photography course. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Philip. Are you doing a photography course? Yes. There wasn't one at my college, Park College, so I go to City College in South Road. Are your classes in the evening? Yes, 
I finish at Park College at quarter past five and get home about six. The lessons start at quarter to seven. I have just enough time to eat. <laughs> How much are they? My ten-week course is usually ninety-five pounds, but it costs me seventy-five pounds because I'm a student. There's also a five-week course for fifty-five pounds. Is it a good course? Yes, great. The cameras are rather old, but my photos are much better now, so I'm really pleased. I'll never be a famous photographer, though. I think taking photographs is difficult. Well, we did animals first, and they're certainly not easy. But then we took pictures of trees, and that wasn't difficult. We'll photograph children next. And after the course? There aren't many jobs for photographers. It'll be my hobby. I can use my father's camera, but I'll have to buy a lot of film. Now listen again. Hello, Philip. Are you doing a photography course? Yes. There wasn't one at my college, Park College, so I go to City College in South Road. Are your classes in the evening? Yes. I finish at Park College at quarter past five and get home about six. The lessons start at quarter to seven. I have just enough time to eat. <laughs> How much are they? My ten-week course is usually ninety-five pounds, but it costs me seventy-five pounds because I'm a student. There's also a five-week course for fifty-five pounds. Is it a good course? Yes, great. The cameras are rather old, but my photos are much better now, so I'm really pleased. I'll never be a famous photographer, though. I think taking photographs is difficult. Well, we did animals first, and they're certainly not easy. But then we took pictures of trees, and that wasn't difficult. We'll photograph children next. And after the course? There aren't many jobs for photographers. It'll be my hobby. I can use my father's camera, but I'll have to buy a lot of film. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a man asking for information about the Westwood English School. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Westwood English School? Hello. I want to ask about evening classes, please. Yes, they're on Thursdays. But this term will finish at the end of August. We'll start again on the 22nd of September. But you can book your place now. It's for a Chinese friend. He wants an easy class. Well, there's a two-hour class for beginners. Mm. My friend would like something shorter. Well, we have a 50-minute speaking class. That would be good for him. The teacher is Miss Jarvis. That's J-A-R-V-I-S. The students all like her. How much does that class cost? It's £7.50 per class. Or if you pay for all 12 classes now, it's only £78. It's cheaper that way. Right. Can your friend come to the school soon and book his place? The address is 223 Fitzroy Square. Is that in the centre of town? Well, it's about 20 minutes' walk from the station. We're just by the bookshop. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Now listen again. Westwood English School? Hello. I want to ask about evening classes, please. Yes, they're on Thursdays. But this term will finish at the end of August. We'll start again on the 22nd of September. But you can book your place now. It's for a Chinese friend. He wants an easy class. Well, there's a two-hour class for beginners. Mm. My friend would like something shorter. 
Well, we have a 50-minute speaking class. That would be good for him. The teacher is Miss Jarvis. That's J-A-R-V-I-S. The students all like her. How much does that class cost? It's £7.50 per class. Or if you pay for all 12 classes now, it's only £78. It's cheaper that way. Right. Can your friend come to the school soon and book his place? The address is 223 Fitzroy Square. Is that in the centre of town? Well, it's about 20 minutes walk from the station. We're just by the bookshop. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about Finchester Zoo. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Thank you for calling Finchester Zoo. The zoo is open on six days and closed on Mondays. The opening hours are from 10 a.m. until it gets dark. This is half past nine in the summer and four o'clock in the winter. There is a guided tour of the zoo every hour. Visitors for the tour should wait at the entrance, which is where the tour begins. Our guide will meet you there. The tour finishes at the cafe. You should not feed the animals, but you can watch when we give them something to eat. Every day at two o'clock, the lions are given their food, and the elephants get theirs at three o'clock. There is a shop in the zoo where you can buy books and games. All the family will like playing these. There is also a cafe which sells snacks. Tickets for adults cost £6.85 and children's tickets are £4.65. A family ticket for two adults and three children is £18.75. For more information... Now listen again. Thank you for calling Finchester Zoo. The zoo is open on six days and closed on Mondays. The opening hours are from 10 a.m. until it gets dark. This is half past nine in the summer and four o'clock in the winter. There is a guided tour of the zoo every hour. Visitors for the tour should wait at the entrance, which is where the tour begins. Our guide will meet you there. The tour finishes at the cafe. You should not feed the animals, but you can watch when we give them something to eat. Every day at two o'clock, the lions are given their food, and the elephants get theirs at three o'clock. There is a shop in the zoo where you can buy books and games. All the family will like playing these. There is also a cafe which sells snacks. Tickets for adults cost £6.85 and children's tickets are £4.65. A family ticket for two adults and three children is £18.75. For more information... This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. This is the end of the test.